Hi, Patrick here. Have Cheetah Wheel View. And it's Tuesday. And if it's Tuesday, that can only mean one thing. It must be Library Day. And it is. It's our day for the library. Now, uh, this is the last full week of the month. So this is bag sale. So this is where you take your bag down and you can fill it up for $6. But for me, uh, it's not $6. It's $1. And that's because they're still running their dollar, their dime sale. Uh, I'm not saying nothing about it to nobody. As long as they keep putting it up there every week, I'm a happy camper. Uh, but the stuff that I'm getting, normally what I'd be paying for $6 for, I'm only paying a dollar total. Uh, and I've already stocked up on books. I got like 20 books sitting over there with my name on it that uh, I'm just now finishing my second one out of the 20. So, uh so anyway, uh, so this haul this week was, uh, it's not as spectacular as it was last week, but it's pretty darn good, and it uh, produced some movies that I wanted to see, uh, and uh, I even got a dual centerpiece, and, and it's sort of amazing too, actually. But let's get to it, shall we? Let's see what we got this week from the library. So uh, the first thing that we got... And, of course, I'm hoping that it'll come on, on Blu-ray. But, again, like I said last week, when you see it, you get it. Because you don't know when you'll see it again. And so I got a DVD copy of Smile. Yeah. This is, like, one of the top five movies I wanted to see last year. So this is, I'm so happy to get this. Uh, I'm really hoping it comes in a Blu-ray. Uh, but if not, at least I got this, right? So uh, I'm happy for this. This is a... Uh, this cost me about a dime, maybe uh, about nine cents. So, yep. So, uh, smile. So, yay. Uh, heard nothing but good things about smile, uh, including favorable comparisons to It Follows, mm. which I think It Follows is an amazing mm. film. Amazing, original, scary as hell. All right. Next up, I got um, uh, Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Now, I know our good friend uh, Upside Dan from uh, uh, the Cinema Squad loved this movie. And so, uh, yeah, I saw it there. I said, yeah, okay, let's do it. I trust Dan. I mean, you know, he's got a great ear, great eye. And um, so, yeah, Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Looks entertaining. All right, so I'm actually going to do the centerpiece of my haul a little early today. Uh, normally, I wait till the last of the last, but I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, I've mentioned that it is hard as hell to find two series. Star Trek and anything that's Dick Wolf produced. Hard as hell to find. All the all the Law and Orders. Um, all the Chicago's. Uh, just uh, the FBI's. Uh, anything that Dick, Dick Wolf puts his, his finger on, it's absolutely hard to find in the, in the, in the wild. People love his shows. Um, and so when you get a chance to not only get one, but two, cause I already, I only have three myself of, of all the, I, I, one was a Christmas present and I've only found two out in the wild. And today I found two in one shot and that is season one of Chicago fire. And I found season two of Chicago fire. Hard as hell to find. Never see these out anywhere. Uh, thrift stores, uh, disc replay, not, nothing. Um, and I look. Um, so, yeah, so that's the big centerpiece for today is two seasons of a Dick Wolf produced show. Hell yeah. And then I picked up something just for the hell of it because I don't, I've only heard about this, but I guess I got this for the cast because I don't know them too well. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I know some people will be sitting there going like, yeah, you pick up everything. And you'd probably be right about that. Um, I picked up the fourth season for nine cents, by the way. Uh, I picked up the four seasons of uh, Pretty Little Liars. So I know that they made another series on based on this. And they moved it from reality to a little bit of supernatural elements. And I'm not sure if it lasted or not. I, I know it got at least got two seasons. This is the original one right here. So I have no idea. I've never seen a single episode of this show. So I have no idea 
I just do know the name of the show, and I picked it up for nine cents. All right. That's the end of the DVDs, kids. So, on to the Blu-rays. On to the Blu-rays. Uh, so I got a lot of update, a lot of updated stuff. Um, but this is this is fun right here. Um, and considering I just got this too, I just got Quantum Solace. I just got it, so to go back on my uh, my uh, send out pop box. But I got the complete up to a point, up to a point. But I did get I did get up to a point of the Daniel Craig James Bond collection. Now, I do know that it does not have No Time to Die, but I already have that, so I'm not really, I'm not missing it. But uh, this one I don't have, I didn't have Skyfall, nor did I have Spectre. So, this is all one shot. Um, Casino Royale, I do have, I have Quantum of Solace, I did not have Skyfall, and I did not have Spectre. So, I got this all in one set. It's a little older because it didn't have no time to no time to die on there. I guess Daniel Craig did the five movies. He did five bonds. So uh, next, uh, I upgraded from uh, DVD to Blu-ray, and I got the Blind Side. So um, uh, this is a movie that me and my wife went and saw together. We really enjoyed it. And uh, we liked it quite a bit, so that's cool. I really like that aspect of this. All right, another movie that we went and watched together, uh, and that was The Help, and I upgraded that to Blu-ray as well. It's a fantastic movie. It's a fantastic movie. Uh, I don't know if anybody's not seen it, but if you haven't, you need to. Uh, next up, I think I already had this, so I think this will probably just go into the send out box, and I got a copy of Factory Sealed, uh, Wedding Crashers. And speaking of Wedding Crashers, our condolences to Isla Fisher, who lost her dad this week. That's right, she lost her dad, so, uh, our sympathies to, uh, uh, Isla Fisher. Right. And then I got two Blu-rays from the library. Uh, one I really wanted to see really, really bad. And uh, definitely one of the ones I had hoping to see. And it dropped. And then the other one's a Kevin Smith movie. But I heard this is actually pretty good. I heard that uh, Clerks 3 is actually really good. It's the I, I've even heard that it's the best movie in, this, in the entire uh, Askew vs. And this is the one that, um, yeah. They said, some people actually said this is his best film since Dogma. And that's high praise indeed, because Dogma is the shit. And for him to come up to a real, up to that standard, I'm interested. So, Clerks 3. Uh, and next, then last, is uh, 3,000 Years of Longing. Which stars uh, uh, the magnificent uh, uh, Tilda Swinton and Sacra Pentecost. Okay, he's never going to live that down. Uh, Idiris Elba. We just got Beast. We just got Beast like three weeks ago. Uh, three trips to the library ago. So, uh, so now we got the other movie that he did this year. Uh, I don't know what this is about. Um, I do know that it's supposed to be very, very good. So, yep. All right. So that is it. That's it. So we got uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, nine, nine, ten, and three seasons. We got uh, ten movies and three seasons for a dollar. That's not bad. I'll take it. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching uh, uh, watching me. Um, if you'd like to see what I bring what I bring home next week from the library, well, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, let you know when I drop, and then uh, drop a comment. Tell me which movie you think is the best one that I got today. I'm personally going to bank on Smile. I think Smile is the one to get, but I'm also very excited to get the two Dick Wolf shows. Those are hard to find. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will talk at you soon. Peace.